Red Dirt Road, Customs Classics. All right, we're, uh, we're up here in the shop, and we're uh, working on the underneath side of a 1957 Chevrolet 210, and uh, we're stripping the underneath side of the hood. I'm going to show you guys some of the some of the tools I use and some of the durable and expendable, you know, things that we use in stripping this under not in these side of the hood and getting it prepared to do the, you know, paint and body work on it, and basic stuff. So I use 80 grit sandpaper and I like the sticky back stuff because I, you know, we fold it and I use both sides and that's for nooks and crannies and getting all the, all the, uh, the little scale off the little edges of all the bolts and, you know, the underneath side of the hood's not very smooth. I mean, you have all these breaks in the metal to give it strength, so you have to get in all the nooks and crannies. And a small piece of 80 grit is what I use, and um, it works for me, and it has on all the projects I've worked on, and that's basically how I wanted to do it. The second device, the durable tool that I use, it's been probably one of the best things I've purchased is a battery powered, um, I call them chainsaw sanders, the other calls them, you know, handheld belt, fine file belts is what actually 3M I guess calls them. That's a 36 grit, I think there's a 60 on here. It will sand down uh, welds and metal and it's a really great fine tool to cut off, you know, welds when you're doing you know the metal work on the car so i use this tool a lot i use it for the soft body work the metal work and even some of the finer sanding in these you know inside edges like what's inside this hood to get smooth and get it prepared for epoxy and primer so that's another thing i use the old angle grinder you know, I, I like a finer grit. I'm using, you know, different grits for different things, but you know, we, I buy 36 and this is a 120. So I use it to, you know, get some of the, oh, I'd call it undercoating that was on this car that somebody put on this, on the side of this hood. I use it so it doesn't, you know, gouge the metal and then I have to do a lot more, you know, filling primer to get those, you know, those really, coarse sandy scratches out on the underneath side of the hood. So a good high speed die grinder. This one is, you know, a certain brand that everybody knows because they sell them at the, the local uh, uh, Chinese Harbor Freight store, but they do work and you will break them and wear them out and knock the bearings out of them. This is the second angle grinder that I've had with this specific car. So they're, they're, they're doable, durable. You're gonna wear them out and when they're done, they're done. So different kinds of grits for the, the file belt sander does work great. It's on the inside of, the big thing it does is it can get on the inside of these inside curves that you, you have to hand sand. And then the last thing I'll show you is something that I started using on, just on the 57, didn't have it before when I was working on the Toyota, but is this abrasive filament nylon bristle brush. And then you put it on a, you know, your, your regular angle grinder, your electric angle grinder, and the high speed action, for whatever reason, those little teeth, they can pull things off. And if you can see on the hood, you might be able to see, you might not, but one side of the hood's kind of cleaner than the other. This one was done more 80 grit sanding on, this one was more of that nylon filament. And the nylon filament keeps that dirt to, down to a minimum. How it works, I don't know, but you can definitely tell the difference when you're, you know, stripping the inside of, you know, this 60 some year old hood. So, <clears throat> you know, this, this car has not been, ever been stripped all the way to bare metal and repainted until this restoration. So, you know, I, there was a repaint on the car. So, you know, but they didn't repaint, you know, some of these underneath parts of the car. They just did the, the outer part. And there's really not even been any primer in between those two those two repaints, but so I just want to show everybody what I use to strip and prepare a metal surface to go with a primer. So from this from this point, we would go to cleaning um, the hood off with a 
for the DVD product. And this is the one I use just because it's accessible to me. And it's Master Pro 9500 wax and grease remover. There's a lot of different companies making a lot of different products. They all do basically the same thing. And then the first thing we put on the car, I mean, I would do on the underneath side of the hood is the Transtar Primer Sealer 2K Epoxy Activator 6144 button. And it's tenable. And I used this just on this car. I didn't use it, didn't, didn't have it, didn't, didn't get introduced to it until after I was working on this car. The Toyota, we used just an Amazon basic <clears throat> body shop style epoxy primer. But I like this tenable. Um, one reason is if you chip anything or anything happens, your, your base layer is, is tinted and it won't show, you know, that, that gray or white epoxy primer won't show through. So this is <clears throat> where we're at right now. I'm going to uh, go ahead and, and primer this tonight. Hopefully if I get it all stripped down the way I want it, but I want to show you guys how I strip things, my technique. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Also join Red Dirt Road Customs Classics on Facebook. I hope Facebook and have and everybody have a good evening.